All right, today I'm going to be upgrading my weight distributing hitch. Uh, turns out that the tongue weight of this monster is substantially greater than what the dealer may have thought. It's rated at about 940 pounds by the manufacturer, um, but I checked it uh, the other day with using the old redneck trick of a big beam and a couple of pivots and a uh, bathroom scale. Turns out, uh, currently, and even not quite fully loaded, uh, it's right in the 1150 area, 1150 pound area, which makes this equalizer 10K with 1,000 pound tongue rating hitch way undersized. Um, so I have procured a equalizer 14K and we're going to be putting that on today. Uh, you might see the Ford and no that's not the truck I normally pull this thing with and uh, well that one's out of town at the moment but uh, I've already done a few things to this hitch to ensure that it's correct so I'm not too worried about it because I'll be able to get it really really close using some measurements off of this truck. First thing that I'm going to do is attach the hitch as it currently sits to the trailer to the Ford move it a little bit, let it settle, then I'm going to take some measurements of the height of the Ford's uh, fenders from the ground when it's loaded. Because in the end, when I transfer the hitches, I want it to be, I want the new hitch to be transferring the same amount of weight as this hitch is because I'm very happy with how this currently tows, it's just the hitch is overloaded. Uh, so if I can set that up and get those to the same height, then I've gen I'm in the general ballpark where just transferring this to the other truck should fix it. As far as setting these things up go, uh, not having the other truck here, the first thing, you know, I, I like, I'm one of those guys that figures that the people who design these things have some idea of how they're supposed to work, so I like to read the instructions. First thing it says is to set your ball height to the level of, you know, this when the trailer is leveled out, and I've already done that. Uh, with the other truck. So I know that that current ball height is the same, so I am going to set the new hitch up to have exactly the same uh, mechanical location as this one does, and I'm not worried about having to redo that. But uh, So that's the first thing, but what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hook this thing up, put the bars on, attach it, jack the thing up, get this rock out of the way, and then uh, we will go from there. So now that it's hooked up, um, you can see that, I mean, in this thing, this tows extremely well. This is a very good, controllable, flat towing setup. But you can see that those bars are tweaked. I mean, they, they go back to straight because it's, it's good steel, but there is a lot of force in that hitch. Uh, I've got max angle in the front and not quite max height back here in order to get the load transferred properly and you know keep the truck level and keep everything else happy but uh, you can see there's a lot of force in them bad boys which after you know talking you know, getting some seeing some comments on the forum and listening to what the other uh, members had to say made me start thinking you know i'm probably overloading this thing which is when i took the measurement and turns out yeah i certainly am so I mean, you can run like this. I mean, it's never been an issue. Um, my thought is, though, that because it's overloaded, what it's probably doing is putting a lot of t lot of force in the uh, pivoting area there, because you can see how how angled that is versus so when you're turning, it's probably real stiff. And that's something that I actually have noticed on this thing occasionally. And if I don't lubricate this judiciously and often which you should do anyway, but if I if it rains or something like that and washes some of the lube out, uh, after going around a 90-degree corner, like at an intersection or something like that, I'll notice that the trailer will tend to 
not quite straighten out so i'll have to like shake the steering wheel a little bit to just wobble it and thinking about it now that's probably one of the main reasons for it is because of how it's loaded right here so i'm expecting that that's going to go away and will be much more uh, as as it should be afterwards so i'm going to pull forward level this out and then start taking it apart okay we've pulled forward but i'm an idiot as always, because I forgot that I had my wheel covers on. Uh, <laughs> doesn't look like it's damaged them at all, so I'm going to pull forward about another eh, four or five feet and uh, and take those off, just because I paid for them and I don't want to foul them up. Well, before I start taking it apart, what I've done is I've taken measurements to the fenders on my 97 F-150 4x4 here uh, with the trailer hooked up as it should be and I ended up with 34 and 3 quarters at the back and 35 and 3 quarters at the front um, you can see that even with this truck which is really overloaded now because this this is I mean I'm sure that there's a member of the weight police somewhere who just got woken up out of a out of a dream in a cold sweat because I just hooked this thing up in my driveway um, but the hitch is doing its job because there is no way that this truck is intended to pull you know close to 10,000 pounds or 9,000 anyway but uh, the hitch certainly can level it out and make it so that you could move it if you wanted to but now that I've got my dimensions that's the targets that I'm going to shoot for with the new hitch because that'll mean that I'm transferring the same amount of weight although hopefully not without those ridiculous bow in the new 14,000 pound bars All right, so the next step, for me anyway, is to get the ball off of this thing so I can put it on the other one. Uh, I didn't feel like buying a new ball. Uh, it's it's kind of in there. It's not too hard to get to. It's a very large nut. Most people aren't going to have a 1 and 7 eighths socket. Uh, equalizer is nice, and they will sell you one for... 70 bucks or so uh, I didn't have one hadn't really thought to order one so I realized this morning that I needed one and I went and got this bad boy at Tractor Supply Company for $9.99 and we're gonna see how it works but I expect it's gonna be just fine uh, retorquing it ought to be fun because it's like three or four hundred foot-pounds but I'm sure I'll come up with something and uh, so from that perspective you can save yourself some cash by going to uh, tractor supply or hell anywhere really that can you know that probably deals in trailers can sell you a socket for a few bucks rather than paying the 80 or so that equalizer as much as I like their stuff uh, I don't really need to spend that much money on a socket let's see if it actually will move just like this it sure will The fact that that just moved, granted it's spinning, uh, tells me that I don't know that this was properly torqued to begin with. I'm just going to stick this in like that so I can get decent access to this side. There was, there is no way that that was torqued to the recommended specification if I was able to break that loose with one hand on, a, on an 18 inch bar. So, yet again, don't trust, don't trust your installers. Always check their work. Now, if you need to have this done, and you want it done properly, I'm pretty sure that if you can find somebody who sells trailers in your area, that they will have these tools, and they will have a torque wrench large enough 
to be able to crank that down properly. So, now what? Well, now that I'm done with this, and I've always complained because that weighs so damn much, and tell you the truth, I don't know why the hell I wore white shorts today, but uh, this is finished, and now I'm going to go get the parts for the new one and start assembling them. that I noticed between the big one, the new one, the 14, and the 10, uh, and it's, it confirms something that I was told when I talked to the technicians at Equalizer about this uh, last week, is they said there really aren't any interchangeable parts between their hitches, uh, even the, the shank itself, which kind of surprised me, but I don't know. So uh, what I did notice now that I have this one is my old one is stamped in the side here on the other side max uh, trailer weight 10,000 max tongue weight 1,000 and this one is stamped max 14 and 1400 so uh, they look the same I mean it's just a big hunk of steel it's welded they're all they're both solid there's no doesn't appear to be any difference uh, I don't know maybe it's a different grade of steel I'm not sure but for whatever that's worth these pieces may not be interchangeable either. I mean, you could certainly go down. I mean, if you had a 14 and you wanted to get put a 6 together, you could put your head on that, and it's not going to hurt anything, assuming it'll fit. But uh, you certainly, I wouldn't necessarily recommend what I was intending to do, which is put 14K bars on a 10 if that was possible, because who knows? That's not rated, according to them. So next thing we're going to do is install that. So I'm going to flip this the way I just had it. Nice, this one isn't all gross and greasy. Come on, get in there. All right. This is still in pretty good shape. I don't love anodizing. Out of here, spider. Put this so that the flats are sideways to give it the most resistance to moment forward and backward as possible. And if you have a wrench big enough for this, by, more, by all means use it. I probably even do, but it's just easy enough to use that. Now, we're probably, we've pinched the, 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 uh, the washer flat. And in the grand scheme of everybody's life, that's probably not going to come off. But that's not the right torque setting. According to the manufacturer, there's that bugger. That is supposed to be tightened to 430 foot-pounds of torque, which is a lot. So I do have a torque wrench. I don't know that it goes quite that high, but if you, if you can build a multiplier, you can do it. So that's what I'm going to go put together right now, and then uh, we'll show you what you have to do to actually get that kind of torque. This torque wrench, it's not terribly expensive, but it's, it's decent, uh, it's a craftsman. It is good to 250 foot-pounds, which is a little over half what is required for that. So, you saw how easy it was for me to on to loosen this thing. Now we'll see what it takes to put just over half 
the required torque. Well, don't do that. Don't do that at all. That can make a mess. That's the issue with having it in sideways, is there's no way to pin it. I'm also going to take this extension off. Alright, so here we go. Okay, that's 250. Now, what I need to do is come up with a way to put this out about here and do the same thing. So that's what I'm going to build right now. Well, this is going to look out of place, of course, in the video because, as you saw yesterday when I rolled over my tire covers, I'm not that bright. And at some point, while I was trying to get creative in uh, building my ridiculous torque wrench extension, I switched this camera to, well, photo mode rather than video. And so I missed a fair bit of entertainment. So I've come back this morning to make a little bit of a segment that will show some pieces of what got missed. Uh, I did end up getting the thing torqued uh, to within range that I'm happy with. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a fair bit of a faff, but I got it done. I'm not going to recreate that because... As I recall, the video wouldn't have been too, too entertaining anyway because I didn't punch myself in the face, and it actually did work. Uh, but the step after that is to set the angle of the head. And I had originally chosen to go with four washers, which are down in there. That's five, actually, because that's what I ended up with, and you'll see that coming up in a little bit. But I decided to go with four washers based on what I had in the last one, the book's recommendation and some other things. So what you do is you put your washers in here on this pin, put these bolts in loosely, then you come underneath and you get a three quarter inch and you tighten this up and it will pivot around that bottom bolt, this top bolt slotted. It'll pivot around that until it's tight and snug. Then you crank these down with your 15 sixteenths and uh, that takes care of setting the head up <clears throat> and after you do that then you can hit your trailer put your bars on and test it which is what we're going to see in the next video all right now to continue with the setup cut off center you can see it so I'm assuming that they go so that the advertisement is pointing out we will see yep and that is how they go I'll be damned I hadn't thought of that but the uh, pins are actually wider on these as well one thing I expect is that the assembly of this will be a lot easier than the other one. The other one needed a massive amount of force to install the bars. 
given that these bars are going to be doing work with much less bow. I would expect. force required. Now, I don't see anything in the book about this being parallel to the front. I, I see a lot of people saying that. There's nothing in the book that says that. It says, load it until your dimensions are correct. So my other one wasn't parallel because it was twisted. And we'll see what this one is. I can't believe that this is going to do the same thing as the last set, but we'll see. I'm thinking I'm going to have to go change the angles. Adjusted. We'll go take some measurements and we'll let you know. I'm actually very surprised. It is extremely close. Going down a hole on these, taking all of my extra, all of the extra angle out of that with these bars. Uh, it is extremely close. I am within a quarter inch front and back. What I am going to do now is I'm going to take it apart again. I'm going to add one more washer in here because that's the adjustment that the equalizer says you should max the washers out before you change the position of these so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to add one more washer in here and we're going to check it again okay well i have added another washer had it back hooked up it was actually kind of nice i hardly had to jack the thing up at all compared to the old one to get those bars on because these are so good, so let's unload it. Or load it, I guess. And uh, take another measurement. Yeah, I know the chains aren't hooked up, I ain't moving it. There we go. Okay, good enough. I'm not taking the camera with me. See what we got. Okay, let's see. What did I write down? it somewhere. Maybe. There it is. Now starting I had 34 and 3 quarters in the rear and 35 and 3 quarters in the front. Now I've got about 34 and 15 sixteenths so I'm about 3 sixteenths higher in the rear and the front is 35 and 3 quarters. I'm right on the nose in the front. So, until I get my actual tow vehicle, that's going to be the setup that I'm sticking with. And we will uh, go from there. I'm thinking that's going to be more than adequate. I will say that it is much, much less stressed. There is hardly a noticeable bend in those. Of course, there's always going to be some because that's how they spread the load is by torsion. But, I mean, much, much less than the overloaded 10k that I had in here. Uh, I am very happy with how this went and to be honest as far as following the instructions goes the book says use five washers to start and that's what I ended up with. So this is probably a pretty good case uh, as far as how this hitch should be set up and what it should be used for. So I'm in pretty I'm pretty happy with this I think one difference maybe is because I'm running the uh, the no squeak pads from them so that it puts about a 
you know, quarter to three eighths of an inch more uh, tweak into the bars than otherwise. You know, if maybe if that was off combination with the five washers, it'd be exactly right. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I'm going to be in uh, pretty good shape for towing. And now I know I'm not overstressing this hitch, even though it's doing the same job as the old one. It should be happier in the long term. So that's about it. You got any questions? Feel free to uh, throw them down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing. Let me know. I appreciate it. Take care.